Hi, I'm Brian Albert. I'm an animation student at the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I get a lot of DMs and comments asking me about my opinion on SCAD, and since SCAD doesn't pay me, I can kinda say whatever I want and Paula Wallace and her goons can't come and get me and- FBI, open up! But if you're coming to SCAD, or any art school for that matter, here are a few things that I wish I knew before coming in. Let's call it, uh, how to succeed in art school without really trying. Collaboration over competition is a mantra that you're going to hear a lot, especially here at SCAD. But is it always lived out? No! Gosh, no! <laughs> Look, you're also going to hear that animation and art in general is a competitive industry, and yes, they're correct. That's honestly just sort of like a numbers game more than an attitude game. Yeah, there's not as many jobs in like the big league studios and a lot of people are going to be applying to those, so really, yeah, by the numbers, it's pretty competitive. But if you make that your attitude, you're not gonna do so well. But that's what they mean by collaboration over competition. You want to have a collaborative spirit. You want to be able to want to work with people. And that includes the people you don't like. If you go into your classes or any group project trying to prove yourself with a sort of chip on your shoulder and try to show that you're better than someone else or you're the best in the class, I'm sorry, you're not just, that's just not how it works. Your success in your industry isn't necessarily going to be by your merits, which is very weird for me to say, because why wouldn't it be, right? Like, why wouldn't your success be determined by your merits? Why wouldn't your success be determined by how good you are at your job? And while yes, you wanna be good at your job, another huge part of getting a job in anywhere really is how nice you are to people and how kind you are to people. At the end of the day, you're a business person, you're a salesperson, you're an entrepreneur. Networking and making connections with people is honestly going to be your best bet. And that's why you're here, honestly. Like, yes, you're here to get an education and stuff, but you're going to be meeting a ton of people that you just sort of vibe with, and those people are going to be the people who are going to get you your next job, or vice versa. And when I say networking, I, I used to not really understand what the heck networking meant. I, I don't mean, like, going up to someone and being like, oh, here's my business card, what do you do for a living? You know, like, that's what I thought it was. Uh, but apparently it's actually more about just being friends with people. Like the friends that you make and the fun jokes and memes that you share with each other, that's just as much networking as it is going on LinkedIn and DMing someone. In fact, the best connections that you're going to make are the people that you make friends with. Genuine connections with. So collaborate, don't compete. <laughs> All of your professors are going to say not to use Rate My Professor. Don't listen to them, that's a f***ing <laughs> lie. If you see someone with a 2.5 or below, just run. Run in, run in the opposite direction. You're pretty much safe if you have like a 3.5 or above. 3 is where it gets kind of messy because you get sort of like the, you know, some people liked them, some people didn't, you know? But 3.5 or above, like, every professor I've had that was 3.5 or above, I'd be like, they were pretty good, I like them. And if you get 4 or 5s, they're awesome. They're like, straight up awesome. If this wasn't a public forum, I would just name off all of my favorite professors, but I don't want to like, dox them. <laughs> so yeah, use Vapor Professor. Uh, it, people are gonna tell you not to, especially the professors themselves. That's dumb. If your professor is telling you not to use Vapor Professor, that's probably because their score's really low. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen that before. That, that's, that's happened. Don't be precious with your work. You're in the prime spot to just be making whatever the heck you want. Yes, you can have assignments and sometimes you'll have professors that are super chill and have you do passion projects for your assignments. That's how House of Rejects came about. And if you don't know what that is, uh, there's a link right here. That's my web series that I'm making right now. But use this as an opportunity to do fun stuff that you you just, you can't, you wouldn't have time to do if you had a job. Some of my friends have made some really cool things just for fun, just because they had the resources to do the fun stuff. Because after that, uh, that Adobe suite is not free. And uh, that Toon Boom Harmony subscription and that all of that like other stuff uh, that's not free. You're gonna have to pay for that. So while it's still included in your ludicrously expensive tuition, take advantage of it. But the meaning of don't be precious means that not everything you create is going to be a masterpiece. It's purely just for fun. Do the stuff you think is fun. Do the stuff you think is funny. Do the stuff you think is awesome. You're gonna improve a lot faster and a lot more when you do the stuff that you think is cool. <laughs> This one's like more practical advice. Like your roommate really doesn't have to be your best friend. Shoot, you're not gonna be even like friends 
with half of the people that you meet. And that's okay. You're not gonna vibe with everyone. That's kind of like how people work. But also I want you to be kind to people. Like even regardless of whether or not you're friends with them. Like leave your ego at the door if you have one. But I guess we're artists, so I guess we all kind of have one. <laughs> but seriously, regardless of your ability, you're no better or worse than anyone here. Everyone is here for the same purpose. Everyone here has the same potential. We're all students here. We're all here to learn. This last one is really important. It's probably the most important. Shower, drink water, wear deodorant. Please wear deodorant. Take care of yourself because honestly, it will show in your work. I once did a few digital paintings like super late at night because it was a real crunch time. And boy, oh boy, that was the time. I presented some of my work in progress stuff to my professor and she was like, hey, it's not very good. <laughs> I mean, she said it a lot nicer than that <laughs> because she's like an amazing, sweet human being. But, uh, you know, I knew what she meant, like, because I looked at that and I went, yeah, that's not very good. But that's because I didn't eat that day and it was like one in the morning. So I was just not taking care of myself. It was just, it was just, it, it didn't look good because I wasn't good. Like, I wasn't feeling good. I came back the next day with water and food and enough sleep and I did it again and it turned out a lot better and I was really happy with it. I mean, it, it, it wasn't perfect, but it was definitely better from when I was dehydrated, tired, and hungry. Mental health is super important. It's gonna show in your work, like regardless. And even if it didn't show with your work, I think you should just take care of yourself for the sake of taking care of yourself. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I end every single one of my videos with take care of yourself. And I genuinely mean that. Take care of yourself. You're the only you that there is. Without you, there would be one less story to tell in this world, and we definitely don't want that. I mean, that's why you're going to art school after all, to tell your very specific story. So be there when that story is told. I got other videos about art school advice or SCAD advice up in the card or in the doobly-doo down below. I, I, I get the pointing wrong sometimes. I don't know what side it's on. It's been three years of doing this and I still don't know what side it's on. Please be sure to check those out if you want more info or want more advice. Feel free to leave comments and DMs. I love it when you guys do. I am all for making sure that you guys survive this art school stuff because uh, I know that I wish I had this for when I was starting out. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.